Um, just want to finish on what's, I guess, an interesting time for UK-Australia relations. Um, things have died down a bit since the second test, but you were suggesting so pompous was the behaviour of some of the English. This is going to drive people towards the Republic here being inundated with new Republicans. Well, I am the Minister for the Republic, so I never miss an opportunity, Tom. Uh, but I thought that it did, it did really illustrate... Um, you know, the difference between what that, that old Britain, um, that British aristocratic notion that was on display there, and I was quite often on display in the, in the long room at Lords, versus New Australia. Um, New Australia, having moved on, we're no longer British. Uh, we're no longer seeing God save the King. Uh, we're Australian, and we're very much a multicultural nation. And it's wonderful that that's starting to be reflected in our parliament, and in our sporting teams. And you've got people uh, who are performing well, like Usman Khawaja, uh, many of the members of the Matildas tonight that will go around. Um, and that's New Australia. And I think that we can do a better job in representing that in the future by having one of our own as our head of state, rather than relying on old Britain for our head of state. Maybe changing the anthem really hurt the Republican movement. If we were singing God Save the King these days, uh, I don't know, maybe to give you a groundswell. The PM, though, he might have cursed things here. He tweeted about a week ago, same old Aussies always winning. Since then, the women have lost their last two matches, the men have lost their last match, and neither Ashes is assured. <laughs> so will he apologise to the Australian people if we go down in flames now? No, never back down, Tom. Never back down when you're supporting uh, an Australian team. Um, I think that, you know, it demonstrates the Prime Minister's commitment to backing Australia. Um, and indeed, many of us are of the same mind. And you saw that when he met with Rishi Sunak uh, at NATO. Always back an Australian, Tom, that's my view. And that's why we should have mm. an Australian head of state. We know an Australian can do the job, so let's back an Australian. All right. Well, just don't curse an Australian. I guess that's my point. We'll see. We'll see. We haven't lost yet. Go to the Matildas tonight. Wait, thank you.